from League Arena Television and the VHL Network. The VHL Game of the Week, preseason. This week, the Carolina Hurricanes versus the Columbus Blue Jackets from February 16th, 2011. Narrated by Hockey Gal and Darth Forsberg. Darth Forsberg does make reference to Kilowatt goalie for the Columbus Blue Jackets, when in fact, Strom was a net. I'm Darth Forsberg, right wing and owner of the Carolina Hurricanes. Hi, I'm Hockey Gal, 1107 assistant GM of the Columbus Blue Jackets, and I'm playing left defense. And this is the game between Carolina and Columbus. And the Carolina Hurricanes were just coming off a bitter loss against the Montreal Canadiens. And the guys saw Columbus on the lineup, and we circled this one saying, okay, this will be a true test to our organization and what we want to do this season. They'd say if you want to be the best, you have to beat the best. So we were gearing up to play the champs. And uh, it was quite intense. Yeah, it was pretty intense. Um, I looked at the calendar and I saw we were playing Carolina and I was pretty stoked. Then I found out I wasn't playing, so I wasn't too happy. But then I ended up playing because uh, people didn't show up, so I was really happy. It was a good game. It was really intense. It felt like, like a playoff game, to be honest. And good plays by both sides. And the goalies played really well. When we got into this game, at first we, we, we tried to play the dump and chase, and um, it was an error on our part. We dumped it right at Kilowatt, who you know used to play for Carolina last season, and he got picked up by Columbus and ended up winning the Cup. So we were kind of gearing up to go you know, say hi to our old teammate. And uh, he gloved the, the dump in right away. I'm like, oh, okay, we got to switch it up. <laughs> this isn't going to work. Sorry, this is actually a... Uh... Was it Schuster in those plays? Or Schuster? I uh, believe so. Yeah. And this was just, at first, in the first period here, you can see this, it was intense. We, we were undisciplined, uh, taking just dumb penalties. And Columbus was capitalizing on our mistake. And they were just thrashing us in the offensive zone. Every time we tried to clear the zone, you know, the hockey game would be there to swallow up a loose puck and just reset the play, dump it back in the zone. Big Dirk Diggler would come back in and just play with it, cycle the puck. It became extremely frustrating. And I was kind of worried at first. Really worried. It was pretty intense. Uh, right here, <laughs> I had no stick, and I was, like, freaking out. He was like, oh, my God. I knew you guys would be, like, a force. I'm trying to defend with no stick. It's like impossible. Especially against Darth, because he'll just like goonberg you. There were times in this first period where we try to lay the big hit and we'd, we'd miss. And because we'd missed, Columbus would be on the counterattack and we, we had to tell each other, okay, if you're going to hit them, make sure you hit them because if you miss, you're going to give us a disadvantage. So be smart. And as soon as I said be smart about it, we, you know, we'd start taking penalties. Um, un unfortunately for us, Columbus did get called for a tripping call there, and and we tried to capitalize on it, but Columbus's uh, uh, PK was top notch. I mean, they are the defending Stanley Cup champs, so it was it was quite interesting. Uh, trying to defend against uh, Carolina's power play is pretty difficult. They worked it around really good, and they had a really nice try there. Um, they'd always just recover the puck as soon as we just uh, try to get rid of it and kind of frustrating. But uh, our goalie held us in there and it, it, the power play was we were trying to get our power play working and Big Tuck hit the post. He beat Kilowatt top shelf and he hit the pipe and um, they Columbus came back on the counterattack, and we couldn't get the puck out of the zone. I got a little frustrated because every time I tried to carry the puck in the zone or get the puck, I wound up, I wound up for a slap shot, and hockey game would stick or stick out and just poke it right off my stick. I got frustrated. My emotions got the best of me, and I got called for charging. I hit her pretty hard right by the penalty box, and the ref uh, 
ref sent me to the sin bin for two for that one, and the team wasn't very happy with me, and I wasn't happy with myself. It was very undisciplined, something I've been trying to work on this season. Yeah, that kind of hurt. My head was kind of ringing after. <laughs> I did not see you coming until you uh, got there. <laughs> I'll be honest, I, I screamed. <laughs> yeah, uh, I had the, the uh, big talk will tell you that if I take too many penalties, he'll give me the penalty box talk, which is something that he did a couple times last season. You know, if I take two or more penalties in a game, he will give me a little pep talk, get me back in the game. And after that penalty right there, you know, I became really undisciplined. He goes, do I have to give you the penalty talk right now? I'm like, I, I get it. Enough. Thanks, talk. It was frustrating. And the neutral zone play of Columbus was just unbelievable. Every time we tried to get in the zone or get a breakout pass, they'd be, they just collapse right on the puck. They play the trap really well. And when we do get the zone, we try to pass it around, get our cycle going, and every time we get the puck, it's like one, two seconds, there's a Columbus Blue Jacket with a stick out and just in, in your face. It was unbelievable how fast they reacted to the puck. Their counterattack game is very, very good. Um, yeah, we just try to collapse on the puck and force turnovers and try to capitalize on them. It doesn't always work, but that's what we try to do. And it's just hard against a good defensive team like Carolina. Their goalie, uh, Cobra, held them in there for a long time. Um, I actually thought he was paralyzed at the beginning because he was playing so well. It was, he played really well. Like, that save was amazing. Um. Cobra saw the matchup on the calendar. He's like, you're putting me against the champs. I'm like, hey, you know, but you got to beat the best to be the best. And he's like, okay. And I told him I have every confidence in him. That's why, I, you know, he's still on the team. You know, I know he can do this. And, boy, did he show up. I mean, this guy was lights out. He kept us in this game early. I mean, it really could have been 3 nothing Columbus by the end of the, the first. Um, he made some spectacular saves. Was it? the right moment at the right time was able to read the play and anticipate the shot and he made some unbelievable saves um, it really gave us motivation to get back in this game yeah it's just really like frustrating as soon as you like got the puck you'd be right there and you'd make like a move to the backhand and be like right there and just stop the puck it's crazy like like that one save from post to post is nuts. Like I thought that was a goal. I started celebrating and then it didn't go in. <laughs> I was kind of angry. In the first period here, there was times where you know our discipline was lacking at points, but there was times where we actually started getting our physical game going. And I ended up injuring, I believe it was the right defenseman. And I'm like, okay, it's time to play physical and have some fun. And then Columbus would come right back and play physical, and they, they would not back down. They wouldn't give up, and they kept on pressuring us. And it was it was a heavyweight battle, duking it out back and forth. And no team other than the penalties that we took. The time on attack was pretty even, except for our, our own mistakes. We gave Columbus too many opportunities, and I, Cobra bailed us out because we should have paid the price. It, we were very, very undisciplined, something we need to work on. We just need to work on our uh, power play and try to get it in the back of the net. It doesn't really matter what happens, just as long as we get in the back of the net. And as you can see through the replays here, our guys were playing physical. Every time the Columbus would get down low and try to crash for a rebound, you know, in fear that Cobra might give up a rebound, we just hit anything that moved in front of the net. And then when we weren't able to get there, Cobra just made some unbelievable saves. I mean, the guy was standing on his head. Um, just the calm and the presence of that goalie, Cobra, kept us in that game in the first period. Yeah, that montage. I remember saying it was just a montage of us getting destroyed. It was just crazy. Like, you hurt Queso, and he's like, am I hurt? Like, yes, I, I believe you are, Queso. <laughs> I think Forsberg hit you. I mean, there would be times where I try to, to get the puck off a hockey gal, and hockey gal at the last second would turn away and give me the shoulder, and I'd bounce right off. And she, or she'd get the puck off to her teammate. I couldn't get that forecheck going. And then Columbus would gain our zone, and they would 
literally put on a clinic. They'd sit there. They they play a well disciplined cycle, and um, it was it, at times it was very frustrating. But then there were times like, okay, well at least you're not in front of my net shooting the puck. I can we can deal with this. It's a tie game. We can deal with this. And I was able to, to stick lift her once and got a shot on net and Kilowatt was wide awake. I'm like, oh, I wanted to catch him sleeping. Yeah, I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> Damn it, Forsberg. But, uh, yeah, every time I'd, like, turn away or <laughs> from Forsberg, I'd just see him, like, charging at me like, with the hit button held down. <laughs> and I was like, uh-oh, <laughs> if I stop, I'm going to die. <laughs> and after the whistle, every time I knew he'd be gutting for me, so I just love bumpered it so I wouldn't get destroyed. <laughs> After the whistle, I, I was trying to get a little chippy with her, and every time I get near her, she'd just get defensive and left bumper it. But then, as soon as I turned my back, she gave me a little cheap shot in the back, let me know, "Hey, I'm right here, big guy." It was, it was frustrating because I, I really wanted to, to just lay her out every once in a while. But I was able to get some hits on her. She tried carrying the zone with the cycle, and I was able to knock her down once or twice. But that's about it. I mean, she's, she was very frustrating, and she's very good at what she does. That's your job as a defenseman. Yeah, I, I try. I'm trying to work on my offensive game, so I tried carrying the puck a couple times, and every time I did, I just see Darth <laughs> right in my face, and then I'd be looking up at him. <laughs> yeah, but right here you saw Deadhead. He took a, um, a not very good penalty. Got called for, I believe, slashing. So once again, we're on the PK, and as you can see. Columbus is dancing with the puck in the zone. Cobras are playing phenomenal at this time. So we're like, okay, let's just get the, to, you know, flip the dump the puck out of the zone. And, I catch it. Yeah. It, it was, we tried to get the puck in the middle of the neutral zone, and there'd be hockey gal to glove it and put it on her stick and then retreat and wait for reinforcements. And I tried getting in the zone shorthanded, and I'm getting peppered. And she kept on poking at me and poking at me, forced me to go off sides. It was just, I was just infuriated. And my teammates like, we could have been like, calm down. I'm like, you don't understand. This is frustrating. <laughs> That's what I do best. Good score. Great move. I try to get inside my opponent's head. They know I'm a girl, so I'm just trying to, like, mess with them. And here's another rare occurrence of Columbus taking a penalty. Um, they got called for, I believe, hitting from behind. And um, we're like, okay, now's our chance. Let's let's try to get an attack going and you know set up our power play and that's what we try to do and every time we get the puck you know Columbus would be right there with a stick in our skates or you know stick stick on stick and it was just the passing lanes weren't there they they give us our space but they take away any passing lanes down low they're very very good at collapsing um, it was frustrating on our part because we couldn't get any good looks we we were you know we tried playing the rebound game and. That wasn't working, and we were trying to figure out a way to get this puck past Kilowatt. It was nuts. Absolutely nuts. Yeah, and I know Diggle was pretty upset that he took that penalty. Um, but, yeah, we just try to, like, play defensively when we're penalty killing and try to get it out when we can and wait for them to make the mistake and, yeah, and poke the puck off me right there, and I wasn't too happy about that. You know, we try to do our forecheck here, and it was working at first. I, instead of gaining the zone and driving hard in the net, I'd hit the brakes with the defense collapse and then wait for my reinforcements. And it worked, and we got a quality shot on net, but the, the rebound was swallowed up quickly by by Columbus. And then on the ensuing counterattack, we come in, and I take just a, a low wrister, and I, just a fluke bounce, it goes in. Uh, we couldn't believe it. We're like, oh, we're up. We're, we got the lead. Let's clamp down and start playing better. We were quite excited after that one. Yeah, everyone wasn't too happy about that goal. We, it was pretty lucky, but I guess good thing hap good things happen when you put it on net. So uh, we just we were just trying to get back into the game, not let it bother us, just shake it off, and just try to get more pucks to the net. You have a better chance to score if you get more. The more pucks pucks you get to the net, the better chance you have to score. Mm -hmm. Even strength, and Columbus is down low in the corner, and we're just trying to cut off, you know, play, basically do what they did to us, just take away the passing lanes and, and pepper them with the poke checks and nudges and hits, and 
It was just a, a battle on the boards, battle down low. The puck was bouncing everywhere. Bodies were flying everywhere. It was. It, it felt like Game 7 of a playoff series. It was that intense. And we, we all know it was only preseason, but we didn't, at the time, when we are playing this game, we didn't care about anything else, just this game. It was that intense. It was very intense. It was nuts. Like, I was, like, shaking. And <laughs> Sometimes when I get nervous, I shake, and it was just crazy. Like, pucks going in that body, flying all around. It was just nuts. Second period, almost done. We'd take away the pass, poke check the puck, try to get it out of the zone, make a, a clean pass, and of course they'd be deflected by Hockey Gal. She'd, you know, direct the puck to the boards. I'd try to pick it up, and there's her teammates right there. And of course, me and my undisciplined self, I'd take a slashing penalty. I thought I was even with the guy. I thought I got nothing but stick. I ended up getting the elbow, and that's where Tuck came in with his uh, penalty box speech. <laughs> I'm giving you the speech right about now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, You're destroying us in hits right now, like 18 to 4. <laughs> we're just trying to weather the storm of Columbus. I mean, we we were really playing with fire. Uh, too many penalties, a little undisciplined on our part, and it, if it wasn't for our goaltender just playing phenomenal, we would we would have been toast, literally toast. And on that play there, Columbus had a, a huge turnover down low, and they, they had a guy wide open in the slot. They took advantage of it, and Cobra just couldn't get there in time. And uh, we, were, we were shocked that the game's now tied. we got to get back into this. And uh, this is where the tide started turning for us. This is where we are like, okay, now it's, it's tied 1-1. We have to play better. Yeah, we were pretty excited when we got that goal. Um, it was a lucky break, bad like turnover, and we just capitalized on it. It was pretty intense. We we're like, yeah, okay, let's do this and let's get another one. Yeah. Now we're on the penalty kill. Let's try to get it down to their end. Now, you know, on the power play, we tried setting it up down low. Uh, Tuck tried to bring it into the slot, and he gets his stick knocked out of his hands. And then the person that knocked his stick out of the hands, I kind of decked that person on the, the back check. And then, of course, the poke check, the Columbus Blue Jackets poke check machine was going in full swing, and we couldn't get anything going. It was just like the puck was on a rubber band. It was going back and forth and back and forth. It was like a giant tug of war. It was just crazy. You, know, you think you had an opportunity, you cross the line, you get hit, the puck goes flying this way, puck goes flying that way, and then what what shots we did get, Kilowatt was there. And I'm like, oh. We tried not to get too frustrated. I mean, it was frustrating, but we tried to stay focused, be patient, play our game. We can do this. Just continue to play physical, continue to go up against them and never back down. Yeah, it's hard to play against a team that's physical. You try to get into the zone and they hit you and you lose a puck and you have to go retrieve it. It's just really like annoying because you're trying to get into the zone and you just get decked. Especially by Forzer, he's really good at coming in the train tracks and just knocking your lights out. I had that happen a couple times. It was just really frustrating. Then our counterattack was starting to work. We, we started clamping down. Uh, we had our four check going. And then we'd collapse down low and, and start doing our, our version of the neutral zone trap. And at times we had intercepted passes, deflected passes, and, you know, basically giving Columbus a dose of their own medicine. But then Columbus would switch gears on us, and then they'd go on the offensive with a counterattack and a forecheck. And it was, I wouldn't say a chameleon, but it, it was like they could they could switch gears like that on you. they like, okay, you, you do this, we'll do this. It was... It was like a game of chess. It was really, really good. Um, I don't know how else to describe it. It was just uh, other than intense and and just a battle. It was absolutely crazy at times, very infuriating. But then again, it was like, wow, I can't believe that this, we're still tied. This is, come on, guys, we can get this done. I had compromised. Or, I'm sorry, Walsh made her in my ear talking about, okay, watch for this play, they're starting to do this. Make sure you're in the passing lane here, look for the breakout. 
we were just communicating with each other, you know, trying to play a team game, team defense. Yeah, it's really hard to play against. The whole entire team plays defense. Like, everyone here is where they're supposed to be. And, like, trying to get the puck after you've been hit and trying to get the puck away from Forsberg is pretty frustrating at times. Um, we were just trying to, like, get good opportunities. And every opportunity we got, and Kobo would just be right there. One of their defense would just poke it away at the last second. And uh, it's just <laughs> kind of frustrating. Um, I think, yeah, we're still getting destroyed on hits. And <sighs> we're trying to dump and chase, and then I'd try to come down there and get the puck. And, of course, Hockey Gal would beat me to the puck, and she'd get the puck off her stick. And I didn't want to take a stupid penalty at the time, so I, I just board played her. I was thinking I could get there in time, and I, I wasn't. She saw me coming, and she just one, two, puck gone. It's it kind of frustrating at times, but then I'm like, okay, well, at least we're keeping her pinned in her own zone. But then after the whistle, she'd come up, and you know, she'd cross-check me in my back and let me know, hey, big guy, I'm right here. And that was kind of frustrating, because every time I tried to do the, retaliate or do something, she'd help the left bumper it and just kind of toy with me a little bit. It was quite frustrating. Yeah, I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> Fours were trying to come and hit me, and then I just left bumper. <laughs> and then when he turned away to go hit one of my other players, I just go and hit him <laughs> and then run away. <laughs> oh, but, yeah, he's just crazy. Um, they, they played really good defensively, and... I'm trying to get like op opportunities on the power play is pretty annoying. They just dump it out of the zone or um, block the passing lanes and play the trap really well. There was times where on the PK we'd circle around and we might get out, out of position for a second, but then we'd quickly react. I try to take a player out of the play, and then the two defensemen in the center, Big Tucky come around and, and fill my gap and we'd keep the puck to one side and try to we tried to keep the puck to the outside you know we weren't going to give them anything down low they like to go down low sometimes and shoot and um, so Cobras told us if you can keep them to the outside I got this We're like alright be the man and what the goalie the goalie's the general on the, on the ice the goalie tells you something we as a team play defense to his liking so if, if he sees something which he did at that point we're like alright we'll, we'll do it and that's what we did and um, it worked keeping them to the outside, letting them get per perimeter shots. Uh, Cobra was on top of it, and he took care of it. And we were able to kill off the penalties. Yeah, um, shots outside don't really work against the human goalie, so it's kind of frustrating. Um, we were just trying to get inside, and every time we did, uh, we'd just get destroyed or have the puck poked off of us. Yeah. I just tried to carry in the puck because I knew, like, I won't get any shots through. And every time I did, I just poked. There were a couple chances for loose change down low, and Cobra was guarding the post really well, and we were able to collapse and get the puck. But other than that, I mean, every time we got a loose puck in front of the net, we, we didn't try to clear the zone, you know, to say, but we just tried to play counterattack. And then right here with, with 10 seconds, the clock is winding down, Tuck picks up a loose puck turnover off a shot and saw the perfect screen and went top shelf and buried it. And it was just like we won the Stanley Cup. It was just pure joy. The guys just screaming and pumping and just, and then I'm like, okay, we still have time, guys. And time took forever. The, lo the last 10 seconds felt like an hour, honestly. It was just like, will you please hit zero? I think it was opposite. It felt like the time was like really uh, going fast for us because we had to come back and try to tie it, but we couldn't. It just... I was really angry because I screened our goalie accidentally for the time or the game-winning goal, and I was just really upset. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, "Oh no, <laughs> what did I just do?" But it was a really good game. It was intense. And it was a lot of fun. It was an absolute blast. I mean, it was intense. It was nail biting. I mean we we were undisciplined but our defense just stood tall. Our goaltending was on his head. He kept us in that game. I mean a couple bounces here and there and it could have been totally a domination by Columbus. If it wasn't for our goalie we weren't in that game in the first period it would have been over. 
Um, but he was able to keep us in the game, and we just weathered the storm, battled through it, and continued to play our, our physical hockey. It was a playoff game, literally. Even though it's preseason, it, it felt like a playoff game. Looking forward to playing Columbus again because uh, it's a true test, and uh, we know that the next time we play these guys, it's going to be just like this, an absolute intense physical game. And uh, when I see Columbus on the on the calendar, I'm going to circle it because I, I want to go after Hockey Gale again because that poke, poke checking machine that she is is really frustrating. Yeah, um, I'm going to be excited to play uh, Carolina again. Um, they played really well, and I I want to play Culver again and try to get a couple goals. And uh, I can't wait to play Darth again. And, you know, maybe drop the gloves with him and kick his butt. I look forward to the challenge. It was uh, it was very interesting doing this with you. Um, it was a, a, a well played game on your part. Uh, and we, I look forward to seeing you guys on the ice. And uh, you drop the gloves, I'll answer. All right, I'm looking forward to it. It's a deal. Bring it. This has been the VHL Game of the Week. I'm Adam Smythe.